Welcome to Treat Your Dog, a baking podcast presented by Doggy Dessert Chef. Each week, you can bake along with us and make tasty homemade treats for your pups. Let's treat your dog! Hello all, it's Tanil, and I'm going to be baking with you this week. I hope you and your pups are ready for some apple cheddar ginger treats. You're going to need half a cup of natural applesauce. You don't want any sugar or artificial flavorings. Just check the back of your applesauce and make sure the only ingredient in it is apples. You're also going to need half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, one fourth a teaspoon of ginger, a cup of brown rice flour, and a pinch of cinnamon. Also, make sure you prepare your baking sheet. Line it with parchment paper, foil, or a silicone baking mat. Set it to the side and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So, add all your ingredients to your mixing bowl. I've got everything already set up here, so I just kind of have to dump it in. Uh, your applesauce, shredded cheddar cheese, your ginger, your brown rice flour, and your cinnamon. A pinch is just kind of to your dog's taste, however much you think they enjoy. And then mix it up completely until everything is well combined. Once you've got it all mixed together, knead it into a ball and roll it out a half inch thick onto your counter and cut it with the cookie cutter of your choice. Once you've got your cookies cut out, you're gonna to wanna to bake it for 10 minutes until they're lightly browned at the edges. I'll get back with you once your cookies are all cut out and coming out of the oven. All right, my timer went off, so let's get these treats out of the oven. Um, since they are a little thicker, you just want to make sure that they are completely cooked through. Um, is it just me or are your dogs sitting outside of the uh, kitchen staring at you waiting for you to hurry up? Well, that one might just be me. Um, pull them out. I used about a one inch circular cookie cutter and I ended up with about three dozen treats. So depending on what size cookie cutter you use, you might have more or less uh, of your yield. So make sure they are completely cool before giving them to your dog. You certainly don't want to burn anybody's mouths. Thank you so much for baking with me today. Come back next week for another delicious recipe. Happy baking. All these recipes have been carefully researched, but we cannot rule out the possibility of food intolerances. And it is essential that you speak with your veterinarian before feeding your dog any homemade treats. For more recipes, visit doggydessertchef.com or find us on Facebook, Doggy Dessert Chef, where you can join our Treat Your Dog podcast group. Don't forget to subscribe for more treat recipes.